Hi, um, I'm Kevin. I don't make videos like this that often, but I just recently saw the new trailer for the new Gods of Egypt movie, and I thought it was a cool movie. There's a lot of really interesting special effects in there. It looks like they're going to be taking a new spin on the mythology, which will be kind of interesting. Um, I just noticed a couple of interesting things about it that I was not too sure about. I don't know. Egypt has always been a paradise. But now, there's chaos. God of the air, you must protect the mortals. I don't know if I'm strong enough. Then become stronger. Sir never the law of the world. My legions of the desert will bring them reckoning! So, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but um, there was something a bit jarring about it. And yeah, there's no black people in the entire movie. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Egypt is actually in Africa. And the old kingdom of Egypt was founded by Africans. You can have a look at sculptures, paintings, just geographically where the people came from. It was Africa. They were black people. If you think that this is a one-off problem in cinema, you'd be very wrong. Pretty much every movie set in Egypt or Palestine is completely whitewashed. There's no brown people, black people in any of these movies. There's too many to list. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty fucked up, to be honest. If you think that it's not a big deal and you think that it's normal for movies set in history to be whitewashed, I don't know, just imagine what it would be like if you watched Thor and had an entirely Asian cast. It'd be kind of interesting idea there's, because again there's no movies with Asian casts in English speaking countries but it wouldn't really make any sense I think that this problem is actually a lot worse than just historical inaccuracy though if you look at what's been happening in the media recently with um, how black people have been treated by police and the media there's been some debate whether or not they're actually misrepresented in media and it's stuff like this that kind of cements the fact that they are and that we are trying to erase history from other cultures and claim them as white history. I think that a lot of black children, white children um, and adults are going to watch these movies and seriously think that now white people created Egypt, which is just not true. Uh, White people have a really nice history of our own. I don't think that we needed to take anyone else's history. Um, but above that, I think that currently in the state of America, and not just America, but worldwide, the way that we see black people is a group of people that have no real history that's substantial to the world, whereas they pretty much invented civilization, culture, medicine, paper, basic things that we take for granted are uh, black inventions. But that doesn't matter because we've got a nice movie with some guys from Game of Thrones in it, which also doesn't really have a black cast. The only black people in Game of Thrones are pirates and rapists. I, I don't know if this video is going to change anything or fix anything. I would strongly suggest that you don't watch this movie or any movie set around the Bible Egypt or any kind of story in those areas because we have all these movies with with entirely white casts set in black and brown countries and it's always kind of been like that and it seems to be that nobody really gives a shit I mean that's just what I thought about um, this film I don't know if you guys feel the same way you saw what I showed you you can have a look at your own stuff if you seriously think that white people created Egypt, you're an idiot. So, I don't know what else to say, but yeah. I hope you don't watch the movie.